What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Poor Man Mods. I don't know if I'm going to be successful today or not, but I'm going to try to show you what is inside a air conditioning compressor. Now, if you guys like this video, um, maybe I'll do more of these. I'll have to figure out what I can crack open if I have access to it. But uh, I'm gonna try to open this and dissect it, see what's on, see what's all inside. And yeah, if you guys like it, maybe I'll do more of these. So let's get started. But I'm not sure if I'm even gonna be successful with this one. I've never taken a clutch off before, so I don't know how to do it. I could die. I might not die. I have no idea. Huh. Okay, that was pretty easy. So that is the clutch. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. So here's the clutch, and I guess when it electronically engages this surface, meets this surface, because right now, this spins independently of this. And this is what turns the shaft. So right now, spinning this pulley, the shaft does not turn, but this does make it turn. So right now the clutch is not engaged because they spin independently of one another. So this is the clutch surface, that's pretty cool. This is interesting. So that sh this part, this is stationary and there's a bearing inside this pulley. I don't know why it's cool, but it's kind of cool. Now there's a real set of snap ring pliers in there, or a snap ring. Yeah. All right. Okay. So this electronically, I don't know how, might be an electromagnet, I guess. I guess it pushes this via a magnet, it pushes this against here, super hard to spin the shaft. Yeah, this is definitely an electromagnet. I think. It's gotta be, I don't know what the hell else it would be. But, maybe I can save it and apply power to it and see what the hell happens. That smells like coolant, or refrigerant. And if you're wondering why I have an air conditioning compressor, when I bought the Lexus, it did not have air conditioning. The compressor was bad. Or I should say the clutch was. And for stuff like that, like with air conditioning, I don't believe in just replacing one part. Like, there's no way I was gonna risk it and just do the clutch. I did the whole compressor and then the receiver dryer with it. There's I just don't feel like opening the system more than once or working with it or whatever because it was a pain to do this compressor. So if I'm going to take it out, I'm just going to put in a new one. Save more headache down the road. I mean, it had, you know, it's a 15 year old compressor anyway, so why not replace it? Ooh, it's separating back here. Am I going to die? I hope I don't die. Oh no, now there's oil everywhere. 
I'm definitely dead. Alright, let's see what kind of mess this makes. Alright. There's the inside of the front housing. Nothing too spectacular. This is some kind of bearing. These are a bunch of a bunch of uh, journal bearings on here. Not ball bearings, but journal bearings. Well, I think I've reached the point of no return. There is no reusing this. Hmm. Here is the back housing. Not really sure what any of this is. Okay, so here's the low pressure port. It gets sucked in here. It gets sucked in through that hole, I think. This is definitely the low pressure port back here. And it comes in through this chamber. And then, I'm guessing it gets sucked into here somehow. I don't even know what the heck this is. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what any of this is, really. I'm just dissecting. I am not an AC professional. Okay, nice little spring. This is a head gasket. No shit. Holy Santa Claus shit. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a seven cylinder engine. Holy balls. Wow. Holy crap. Look at this. I can't touch the camera right now because my hands are covered in this oil. But this is a, a circular motor, like on old airplanes. And then this pushes them down somehow. Oh, like that. Goes like that, I guess. That is badass. Oh, shit. Losing stuff. That is awesome. So these are all little pistons. That is so cool. Oh man, I did it now. So this is the crankshaft. That is so cool. And then here's the high pressure port right here. So let's take that apart. So it goes into here and then goes into this opening but I don't see where it goes from there. But this is so cool. This is a seven cylinder motor or engine, whatever you want to call it. I guess it's a motor, not an engine, if you want to be technical. 
But this is so cool. Seven little pistons. And I guess when a compressor goes bad, like when you still have coolant in the clutch engages, I guess these are just really worn down so they can't uh, make compression. So since I don't really know what I'm talking about or what I'm doing, I can't really explain anything more with this. But there you go. This is what was inside an AC compressor out of a Lexus IS300. All right guys, so there you go. That was what is inside an air conditioning compressor. I thought it was pretty cool. I had no idea what I was gonna see opening that thing. Definitely pretty interesting. If you guys like this video and you wanna see more stuff like this, let me know in the comments below. Comment what you would like to see, realistic stuff that I could do. Um, the only other thing that I know I could do that might be interesting is an alternator and a turbo, but a turbo there isn't really much inside. Um, but an alternator, that might be pretty cool. I'd have to get my hands on one though. I don't have a spare alternator. Um, and maybe an engine, but I don't have a spare engine laying around. So comment down below if you would like to see more stuff like this. And uh, hope you liked it, hope you learned something, and I will see you guys next time.